Hello dear YouTube community. In today's video I will show you a transaction and a program to search ABAP source code. These programs are very practical, especially if you work in larger teams and can therefore also search through the code of colleagues. Let's start with the transaction code scanner. Here we see a mask with several search criteria, options to search for strings or to exclude strings. As a first step, I include our set packages. For today's example, I would like to search for an Excel import. I know that it has already been programmed and I would like to find it again in my programs and packages. I have restricted my search to my set packages. I type here the string Excel as my search string and after that I click on execute and as a result we get several columns column 1 the package name in column 2 the program name and also the found code lines in which a search word occurs we see only one line the line which the search word in it. However, I can also adjust the number of lines, which means that additional lines are output in addition to the line in which the search word was found. For example, I type here the number 4 and I execute the program again and we see the line with the search string and the next three lines of code. So then you have a better overview about the code. And because I will find the Excel import, I can type a second search string here and I type here import and I execute again. And now we see the result set is significantly smaller. And if I want to jump to the source code, I make a Double click on the line. Okay, let's go back. What we can't do with uh, this transaction, we can't use wild characters. So we, dare, we cannot use this. Okay. So uh, the next option is the report. For this, I call the transaction SE38, the ABAP editor. And the program is called RS ABAP Source Scan. And click on Execute. And here too, I have extensive opportunities to search for source code. First of all, I limit the packages here. I only want to search here for packages that have been created by myself or my group. I also have the option here to specify how many lines should be output before and after my search word. And then we type in here the search string Excel. We execute the program and we see the output is sorted and grouped by the object name. And we see the line with our search word and two lines before the search word and two lines after the search word. So the result is slightly more legible than the output of the transaction. So let's go back. And we can use here regular expressions. We can uh, type in here placeholder, wildcard. And we see we also have a result. But don't forget to check the box. String is regular expressions. And we can use other regular expressions. For example, I also use my internal tables with it underscore and then the letters a to z 
and they can type this here in and let's execute and we see some uh, declarations of my internal tables are found ITS flight, IT columns and so on and here again if you click on the line you jump directly to the source code to the program or to the package okay at the end a short comparison of the two possibilities i use the transaction code scanner to quickly search for packages or programs if the search is a bit more complex or time consuming i use the program rs abap source scan to carry out more detailed searches i hope the programs are useful and that they were not yet known if you know other options to search for source code, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to read them. If you like my videos, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Feel free to watch other videos from it. And I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.